in the late 1960s, West Germany, Great Britain, and Italy discussed the development of a new self-propelled gun to increase support fire. And the SP-70 prototype was born, in which Fickers Building and Engineering Group was responsible for the turret design, named SBT-155. Project SP-70 was abandoned because at that time the American M109 Platin self-propelled gun was superior. However, the previous studies were not in vain. Project SP-70 experience were applied to the development of the British AS-90 self-propelled gun the Italian Palmeria and the German Panzer Haubitz 2000. As an attempt to correct defects on the SP-70 project, Vicker built a self-propelled gun with a new chassis and turret, namely AS-90. 179 vehicles were delivered to the British Army between 1992 and 1995 at a cost of about 300 million pounds, equivalent to 480 million USD. The AS-90 was first deployed by the British Army in 1993. In the same year, BAE Systems acquired the Vickers shipbuilding and continued to manage the AS-90 line for the British Army. The AS-90 replaced the Abbott and M109 self-propelled guns in British Army service, as well as the FH-70 towed guns. Basically, the AS-90 is classified as an armored self-propelled artillery, known officially as Gun Equipment 155mm L131. The AS-90 is operated by a crew of five, including the driver, the commander, the gunner, and the ammunition personnel. The vehicle is 9.07 meters long, 3.3 meters wide, 3 meters high, and 45 tons in weight, with a thickest tail armor of 17 millimeters. The AS-90 features a distinctive design of modern self-propelled guns with how arranged in a traditional layout. The track is supported by six rubber tire road wheels on each side, with the track idler at the rear and three track return rollers across the top. The sides of the hull are reinforced by vertical steel blades, while very sloping forward. The turret is placed behind the hull while the engine is positioned in the front to balance the vehicle's weight. A large rear door allows crew members access, resupply of the 155mm projectiles from another logistic vehicle. AS-90 is powered by Cummins VTA903T engine with 660 horsepower. Maximum speed of the vehicle can reach up to 55 km per hour, a range of 370 km. The vehicle can cross a trench 2.8 meters and wet in 1.5 meters deep. The AS90 is also fitted with auxiliary power unit that powers all systems when the main engine is shut down. 
The AS90 has a number of automotive components from the Challenger one man battle tank. The AS90's main weapon is a 155mm L39 Hawkwitzer, inherited from the FH70 Toad Hawkwitzer. It is equipped with an autoloading system, compatible with all standard NATO 155mm ammunition taps. Maximum range is 24.7km with standard high explosive fragmentation projectile and 22 kilometers with a rocket assisted projectile. A total of 48 shells is carried. It can fire 3 rounds in 10 seconds and up to 6 rounds per minute. The sustained rate of fire is 2 rounds per minute. Secondary weapons include a 7.62mm machine gun and smoke grenade launchers. AS-90 entered service in 1993, too late for Operation Desert Storm. Later, it took part in Operation Iraqi Freedom and in NATO peacekeeping missions in the Balkan where it supported firepower. However, there were weaknesses that would cause it to be phased down soon in British Army service. It requires an overcrowded crew, while the modern army needs to cut stuff. Its armor makes it extremely heavy and therefore nearly impossible to deploy via air transport. This entails that its deployment will necessarily take weeks or months and is subjected to international authorizations. Indeed, in some war theaters which are landlocked, moving heavy equipment to the fighting grounds can prove diplomatically complex. Finally, it is slow, also for weight. That would be a problem when fighting in modern super maneuverable warfare. The UK defense budget is being cut, and it looks like it will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. So replacing these war machines wouldn't be a big challenge for the British military leadership. My video about British AS-90 self-propelled Hawitzer and Sierra. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.